Hey everyone, welcome back to Food Prepping. Today we're gonna to be preparing this East-West Cuisine Chicken Katsu. Now we have everything that we need assembled here. You're gonna need, of course, your chicken katsu. You're gonna need a couple plates, a bowl, half a cup of water, one third of a cup of cooking oil, scissors to open everything up, a whisk, and some tongs or a spatula, whatever you would like to use. Now there are two cooking methods for this. Today we're gonna to go ahead and do the pan saute method. So let's go ahead and take everything out of the box. Now, now these are not labeled, but this smaller pouch is your egg mixture. Then the larger white pouch is your breading. And then this brown pouch is your katsu sauce. And then of course you have your chicken right here in this pouch. First thing that we need to do is go ahead and open up our chicken and we're gonna drain all of this excess liquid out of it. Now we've got all of our chicken right here and we're just gonna gently separate out the pieces. Okay, so now as you can see, that didn't really separate out evenly, so just do the best that you can. There are definitely some places where it's cut where you can kind of pry it apart, but other places it just seems like you just have to completely make your own piece out of it. So there's our chicken. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set our chicken aside and we're gonna grab our bowl and we're gonna put together our egg mixture. So we're gonna take our dry egg mixture and pour that into our bowl and then add one half a cup of water. Now we're gonna go ahead and whisk that together until it's smooth. So now we're just gonna go ahead and set that aside and put our breading mixture onto our other plate. Next, what we need to do is go ahead and take slices of our chicken. We're gonna dredge it in our egg wash first, both sides, and then we're going to firmly press it into our breading mixture, both sides. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, so now we have all of our chicken breaded and we're gonna go ahead and add our one third of a cup of oil to our saute pan and heat that on medium high. All right guys, I dropped a couple little pieces of the breading in there to see if it's sizzling and it seems to be heated up enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken pieces in here. You just don't want any of them touching and we're gonna do these for two minutes on each side. All right, now while those are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and heat up our katsu sauce. So we've got a microwave safe bowl. I'm just gonna use a coffee mug since this is kind of a tall pouch of it. And we're just gonna vent the corner and pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds. All right, so here is our completed katsu sauce. Be careful because it will be hot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it into a container so that we can use it once our chicken is done. All right guys, it's been two minutes on this side. We're gonna go ahead and flip these over. All right guys, it has been two minutes on this side now and these are done. So we're just gonna go ahead and take them out. So here is our completed pan sauteed chicken katsu. If you guys would like to know how this tastes, definitely check out our other channel, Five Minute Eats, where we're gonna give you a full review and let you know if we would purchase this again or not. But in the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time. Bye. All right guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Five Minute Eats. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.